Hey everyone, this is X Wallkill Bethelite back here. Happy to be out. Happy to be free to uh, explore and to uh, learn new things that was restricted before. So nothing has happened. There hasn't been any. Oh well, he's lost Jehovah's Spirit, and 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 now bad things are going to happen. Nothing bad has happened. Everything's been great. And uh, I mean, it's hard to even imagine going back to that type of restricted lifestyle. But I want to get you guys' opinion on something. And uh, thinking about Wallkill Bethel uh, is different from Brooklyn in the sense that you don't have the subway system. When I first heard that I was going to Bethel, I assumed it was going to be at Brooklyn. I later found out it was Wallkill. But when I thought it was going to be at Brooklyn, I uh, was thinking about getting rid of my car. I'm thinking, I'll just use the subway system, and uh, that's how I'll get to my meetings and field service. But the question then for you guys is if you are working at Walk Hill, uh, Bethel, your congregation uh, could be an hour away. Mine was 45 minutes away at East Poughkeepsie congregation. How are you getting there? How are all these Bethelites getting there? Can you imagine all of Bethel hopping in the car? And, uh, you know, not everyone. But everyone that had a meeting that day hopping in the car and everybody's cars flooding out of uh, Walk Hill on their way to the congregation. Well, what uh, typically would happen is a new Bethelite would get a phone call. This is what happened to me from uh, a Bethelite in their assigned congregation. And they would give them instruction on meeting day, meeting times, uh, and the driving schedule. There's like an actual driving schedule. So, of course, so far everything sounds, well, hey, that's how I would do it in that situation. I would have a schedule of drivers. But what you don't know is uh, you get charged for a ride to the Kingdom Hall. You get charged for a ride to the Kingdom Hall. So now, let's say I hop in the car, Go and and again, keep in mind I'm new. Let's say I hop in the car, we go to the Kingdom Hall, and when we get back to Walk Hill, to drop everyone off, someone, oh, I forgot my my money. Uh, for us, it was $4 per trip, per meeting. So that's, you, you know, your, your Sunday meeting, that's your weekly meeting, that's, that's $4 every time you get in the car with someone else to get to the, the kingdom off. You don't have a car, and there's no rotation. It's who every time you go to the, the hall, it's $4 uh, per trip. Let's say, well, what happens if someone doesn't have it or uh, forgets their money? Well, it, it depends on the person. Some Bethelites get pretty upset and pretty irate. Some, it may not be that big of a deal. So let me tell you what happened when one of my friends, one of the people that uh, came in with me uh, at Bethel forgot his money. And this is an elder that gave us a ride to uh, Poughkeepsie congregation. We get back after the meeting and I, I I remember hearing 
the brother, he was sitting right next to me. I'm in the back seat. Uh, the brother who's an elder, his, him and his wife are in the front seat. I'm sitting behind his wife and uh, I'm reaching in my pocket. I'm getting my $4 out. And of course, you know, I was new at Bethel, so I still had some money from when I was working. And the other brother is like, you know, I, I don't have $4 on me right now, but I'll get it to you as soon as I, as soon as I get money. And I'm sitting there thinking, no big deal, reaching in my pocket get to get my money. And the brother who was driving, the elder who drove us, you know, asked the other brother to, to step out of the car. And when he said it, he said it, he was pretty upset. I look over and they're outside the car, the door shut. And they're outside the car and the uh, brother that gave us the ride, the elder that gave us the ride, he's a Bethel elder also, is in his face. He's in his face. He's red and he's in his face. And the brother that, that was new to Bethel, just like me, we both came in. We we're both going to the new member classes and everything. That brother, the look on his face, he looked like he was about to tear up. Like, he, you know, he, he looks sad. He's got his head down. He's not even looking up eye to eye with the brother. He's got his head down. And I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the brother's wife and it's quiet in the car. It's dead silent in the car. And his wife is just sitting there like there's nothing wrong. There's, there's nothing wrong. My husband's going off over $4. This is an elder, a Bethel elder. It's supposed to be a Bethel family. And her husband's going off over $4. And I hand up my $4. And she's like, oh, thank you, Marcus. We'll, we'll see you uh, next meeting. And I'm like, okay, you have a good night. And I get out of the car. And they're, they're both still going at it. They're both still going at it. And I go on inside the building. And uh, the, the next time I saw the brother, you know, I sat down with him and I said, hey, uh, you know, I have a car and I'll drive us. And you don't, let's just forget about the $4. You know, just, just hop in the car with me. We'll forget about the $4. And that brother just looked really upset still. He looks, he looked upset. He looked kind of sad. Uh, and he's like, forget it. Just, let's just forget it. And for me, it wasn't a big deal. If somebody didn't have $4, they didn't have uh, $4. And now when I look back at it, who works for a company that has multi millions of dollars and they have to set up a ride system where Bethelites are paying to get to the kingdom hall. That doesn't make sense to me now. At the time, it was a routine. It's just how it was. But now when I look back on it, I'm thinking, we've got all this money, millions of dollars, and People who don't receive a salary are paying $4 per trip, not for the week, but for per trip to get to the Kingdom Hall. You guys tell me what, what you think about that, because I remember talking to my roommate who had been at Bethel for a number of years, and I talked to him and I'm and I, and I told him what happened and he said that that's how some uh bethelites are about things like that um you know hey you owe me two dollars for this hey you owe me four dollars for the ride hey you owe me for this you owe me for that that's just how uh petty some people are about trying to collect money and you know i think the the concept behind it what I heard was that, well, 
if someone's giving rides, they have to charge a certain amount, build up that that they are charging to have money for repairs and for maintenance and for upkeep of their vehicle. And I sat and I thought about it and I said, okay, uh, you know, again, people feel that, well, Jehovah just takes care of everything. So they don't look at the details of how things work. And I'm thinking again, we have all this money. And if someone's uh, transportation to a, the meetings, if that transportation is down, you mean they just can't get to the hall? You, you, the, the Bethelites can't get to the hall. That's true. That's true because my alternator went out and it went out before I had finished state inspection. There's a rule I didn't know. Most people I don't think do know that if your car doesn't pass state inspection, it has the first pass state inspection before the organization will touch it. So if something happens between then or before then, you don't have transportation. And this is not Brooklyn. This is Walk Hill. There's no subway. There's no public transportation. You're, you're, you're stuck there. So I'll tell you guys the story of what happened to me when my alternator went out. We'll talk about that another time. But this is about what you guys think about this concept. This is a full-time servant of Jehovah, and they're worried about uh, worldly things. They're worried about the upkeep of their vehicle. They're worried about money. They're worried about, you know, if someone doesn't have four dollars or not. And does it make sense that the organization could at least help people with transportation to the meeting? I'm not talking about going out on vacation. I'm not talking about going out joyriding. I'm not talking about driving you know, to go shopping. I'm talking about to the kingdom hall. Does it make sense that the organization can just help you with that? With all the money they have, can they just help you with that and not charge you if you want to go and get gas to fill up your tank to get to the kingdom hall, not charge you for that? You're just using your car to get back and forth to the meetings. If something happens, you know, to, to, to help you out with that. Cause the only reason why you would then be stranded is because they're not paying you. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, comment down below. Let me know again. I want to know what you guys think, because this is just routine for me. It was just routine. It became routine. It became no big deal. It became just how it was. But for someone on the outside looking in, what do you guys think about four dollars per trip to the Kingdom Hall? If your car doesn't pass state inspection, you're just stranded as a Bethelite. You're just stranded. And if you don't have transportation and you don't have four dollars, it's possible you're not getting to the Kingdom Hall. And if you're not getting to the Kingdom Hall, the brothers and sisters at the Kingdom Hall don't want to hear it because they think you are in paradise. They don't think anything could go wrong with anything other than you just not wanting to come. So when you do finally get there, now everybody's looking down on you. Even though you're a Bethelite, they're looking down on you. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They don't. I'll tell you the story of what happened with me and my car when I couldn't make the meetings and how I was looked at. Uh, because of that, but it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, you look at it as a Bethel family, but when you look at it in practice, it's, it doesn't look too much like a family. Let me know what you guys think. 
This is uh, X Walkill Bethelite signing out.